Hi, my name is Justin Williams. I'm the troop historian here at Habersham Central. We're about to take a look into the boys' dressing room. So in here we have our incredible makeup mirrors. Um, we come in here for every show and get ready. Uh, we've got some makeup designs from The Tempest. That was my character. He was a fish man, so we had to come up with an original design for that. Uh, here's a, a board. Half of it is painted from our show, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. And the other part, uh, The Tempest. Hi, my name is Carson Sprinkle, and I am the PR for Troop 4860. And today I'm gonna be showing you the booth. So, come on. And now we're in our booth. This is our oldest spotlight we have. We normally use this for spring musicals and 1X. Then if we go over here, these are our um, amplifying cabinets. These normally control the levels of the mics and it controls the soundboard. Now if you look over here, we have our new lighting board. Each thing is programmed, even though we don't have e every slot programmed. This is our soundboard. We normally use just about 12 sliders. Um, each one controls each mic, and if we go over here, we have our newest spotlight, and then of course we use this um, for spring musicals and one X as well. Hi, my name is Jeremy Bishop. I'm the director of the Habersham Central Stage Raiders. Our lovely theater space was built in about 2010, and I've worked here for seven of those years. I've directed 20 main stage productions in my time at Habersham, not including in-class shows and variety shows and things of that nature. I believe we had about two or three shows that were directed before I came here. Our auditorium can seat about 650 people, and we have additional slots that are held in readiness for wheelchairs and things of that nature. I really, when I talk to kids and encourage them to be involved in theater, I always mention that there are just a variety of skills in addition to just developing empathy and compassion for your fellow, uh, for your fellow human beings. Um, you develop a lot of soft and hard skills, um, and also really just theater is family, theater is community, and it's a lot of fun. Welcome to Habersham Community Theater in beautiful historic downtown Clarksville. This is actually um, our original movie theater that was built in 1937. If you see right here, this little glass door was the original door that went upstairs to the balcony. You can see our marquee is all lit up because we have a show opening tonight. Fruit cakes is our Christmas play for this season. Come on in and let me show you around. As we enter, right here is our box office where our patrons can stop and pick up their tickets. And usually it's Miss Mary who greets them there. And then as we come inside, you'll see we have a window here. And this is where our hospitable and friendly volunteers are here to offer refreshments. Sometimes we have cookies, we have drinks. Depending on the show, there'll be a variety of beverages offered. And you can see that right now our lobby is decorated for Christmas. Uh, we try to have decorations for each show that go along with the theme of the production. And as you are glancing this way, you will see that there are some dark colored themes up on the wall. These are original from the original balcony of the movie theater. So when we refurbished this building to create a home for the community theater, we preserved these beams to have a little piece of history in here with us. And I can see you're glancing around this way. You'll see all the posters hanging on the wall. These are our are our posters from past productions and we like to keep a little piece of those on the wall just to remember the, the great shows that we've done here. We have them on both sides of the lobby. Alright so you are now in our auditorium. You'll see our lovely seats. We've just had these done this year. There are 105 seats in our intimate theater and from what we hear they're very comfortable. We're usually on stage or backstage so we don't get to sit in them. <laughs> You can see the directors for our Christmas show. We're here getting ready for tonight's performance. I'll give you a quick glimpse of our dressing room. You can see our actors are busy getting dressed for tonight's production. Oh, we know you're right. I like the mirrors with the makeup. And so directly above, these are some of our old lights. But if you look at the, the first three battens on stage, this is a whole series of new light fixtures. And they do not put out the heat that the old lights did, so it's much more comfortable for the actors on stage. Plus, it gives us the ability to change colors on stage with the push of a button up in the tech booth. 
And now you are in the middle of one of our costume closets. Notice I said one because we have more than this. Many of our costumes have been donated by members of the community. So we have a vast array of costumes from many decades. We even have some furs that have been donated that come in handy for many shows. As you come out of that costume closet, you walk into our meeting room. This room sort of doubles as a sewing room. You can see right now the, the um, pile of clothing on the table. We're getting ready for planning for the next show. And as you come on through, we're going into our tech booth. This is one of my favorite rooms. We have recently updated our equipment. So we have a new soundboard and we have a new light board. You can see it there. This theater has not always been the community theater. We actually only purchased it in the late 90s. And actually at that time, um, the stage was over to the side and our patrons all sat on plastic green lawn chairs. And then in 2004, we finished our renovation and were able to have the stage up here in a normal stage position. Um, where the chairs, and I don't know if you can pan over a little bit, the aisles here are actually the original aisles when this, from when this was a movie house. It's been through many, many different things over the years. Actually, when I was a little girl, this was a record store, and this was the only place in Habersham County for the little girls to come and buy their batons to take baton lessons. I still have my baton. Um, but Habersham Community Theater has been around for many years. The earliest I remember, I started doing shows in the mid 80s when I was in junior high school. Don't do the math, you don't need to know how old I am. Um, but we didn't have a home at that time, and we would perform wherever someone would let us. We used the high school, we used a private school um, north of Clarksville, Tallulah Falls School. We used Piedmont College. We used the Grand Theater in Cornelia, which is no longer there. Um, and we used, once we even used an empty funeral home to, to stage the funeral club. So we've used many places until we were able to have our permanent home here in this theater.